Hello, everybody. This is Michelle Litwiller. It is Wednesday, May 20th, 2020, and I'm here for your weekly Facebook Live. So if you are watching the replay, thank you for joining. And if you're watching on YouTube, thank you as well. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. You can hit that little notification bell. And um, I'm just waiting for people to find me on the live. So I'm going to turn down my volume. So those little things don't come up. And I'm trying to see if I can find my video. Okay. All right. Hi, everyone. Be sure to say hi when you hop on. And so I know you're here. That little notification bell. Oh, I just heard. Okay, I see Jennifer is on here and Mary and Chris and Deb. So hi, everybody. I'm so glad to have you here this evening with me. So I have several projects to share with you. Um, we have two or three cards, actually three cards that I know we're going to make. And I have several others I'm going to show you using some of these products that I'm featuring tonight. So that should be very exciting. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for hopping on, everyone, and sharing, um, those of you that have. So... Um, I know more people are hopping on and finding me, so I'm just going to chat with you for a minute before we, we get started in stamping. But last week was so much fun. Last week, I said that if we got up to 70 live viewers, I was going to give a stamp set away, and we like almost doubled that. We got to over 130, and that was just really fun, and so I ended up giving away three different stamp sets. So um, tonight, if we can get up to 100... Um, I have another stamp set to give away, and I grabbed two of them, so I'll let the winner pick. So um, if we don't do it, that's totally okay, too, but if we do, I have a prize. And what I did is I went through the comments, and <clears throat> when the live was over, and I had my daughter pick out some numbers, and then I went through and counted to that comment, and that's how I chose the winners. So it was totally random. And um, anyway, so yeah, I have a stamp set. <clears throat> I have... This one is called World's Best Trophy. Can you see that? And this is a brand new set. It's retired, but it says World's Greatest, and it has, like, everything you can imagine, like grandma, grandpa, mother, sister, father, brother, teacher, friend, godson, in-law, niece, uncle, aunt, coach. So this is a really cool set, I thought. Or you could pick this hostess set, Make a Splash. So I have those to give away tonight if we can get up to 100. And anyway, I have some really cool cards to show you. One of them has like a really fun fold. It has a belly band too. And um, we're going to show the Bird Ballad Tin with some really pretty cards. We're gonna be showcasing that, and that's this is on sale. And then I have the Magnolia Lane Memories and More um, kit in the cards. I was actually gonna offer this as a class, and the stuff was on sale, or not on sale, on back order, and I couldn't get it enough for a class. So I'm gonna show you what I created, and we'll make a card with that as well. So we're going to get started. So we're up to 44 views. Remember, if we get to 100, I have that stamp set. Um, if you would like any of these supplies, here's the host code. I have wrote out um, a list of several of the items that are on sale. So you can, um, if there's anything you want, I have the regular price and the sale price. So you can kind of see it as we go along. So I hope that is helpful. All right. Hi, Sarah. Thank you. Um, and I'm just looking at the comments real quick. Hi, Sharon and Mickey and Carrie. And oh, Lisa's on. So thank you, everyone. Okay, I'm going to point the camera ground down and we're going to get started. All right. We're going to start with this card right here. And this card features 
some really pretty designer series paper that is retiring. This is called the Bird Ballad Designer Series Paper. It's 12 by 12, and it has some really um, soft colors, but then there's that bright yellow one. Um, this one is my favorite, the polka dot. You're going to see in a second, that's what we're using. And stripes. And so this is just a really pretty pack of paper. We're halfway there. We're at 50, 52. So let's get to 100 and I have a stamp set. <laughs> and, and keep telling me if we're getting closer because sometimes I don't see that. So this paper is normally, uh, how much is this paper normally? 11.50, I believe. And it's on sale for 8.05. So it's on sale right now for $8.05. And this is the item number. The other thing I'm using on my project tonight are these leaf trinkets and they are normally eight dollars and they're on sale for only 320 and here's the item numbers if you need them and they come like this in copper and silver and these are really easy to use I'm going to show you you just put them down with a glue dot but these are really great embellishments for some masculine cards because sometimes like, men don't want pearls and rhinestones, but these leaves work really great for some masculine cards. So, these are two of the retiring items that I'm featuring on this card. And I'm going to show you how it opens, and we're going to make it. So, this belly band slides off, and then this opens up like this, and like this. So, it has all the pretty paper on the inside. So, um... This is just using up your designer series paper, so let me show you how to make this card. Okay, the first thing you need is your pattern paper, um, and you can pick whatever, you know, you could do this with any card that you want, and paper you want. This measures, okay, we're at 12 inches, this is 12 inches long by uh, five and a half. So you're going to score it at, we're going to score it at four and a quarter. I'm just scoring it on my paper trimmer. And then you're going to score it at eight and a half. So if you can see it, I don't know if it's in the camera view, four and a quarter and then eight and a half. So this is just kind of a fun, little fun fold card. So we have the score marks like this. So if you wanted, you could flip this, you could flip it around this way, like your card this way, but I wanted the outside to be a little bit more subtle. Um, so this is how we do it. So you can just grab your designer series paper and there's that. Then this strip here is a coordinating piece and this is just one and a half inches by uh, 12. So that's, that is that. Then I went ahead and grabbed Whisper White that is five and a quarter by four. And I have a label here. This is from that To a Wild Rose, that bundle. This is one of the dies in there. It's a really great shape. So the stamp set we're using is this one. It's called Free as a Bird and this stamp set is carrying over. So you don't have to worry about this retiring, but if you want it now, you can go ahead and grab it. There is a bundle that you can get now. Um, it has like those nested, stitch nested dies anyway. So you can get that 10% off now. And then my stamps are right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we need our ink and we're using soft suede. Okay, we're at 60, we're kinda hanging around 60, so if we can get 40 more, I have um, some stamp sets to give away. You can pick which one you want. Um, so for the inside, we're going to stamp, I'm just looking for my mat, my paper piercing mat. Here it is. So. Um, I just don't want to get ink on my table. So I'm going to stamp this um, leaf on the inside. 
and this is just soft suede ink. Can you guys, am I in the camera view good for you? Okay, so I'm going to stamp right here and right here. So just like that. And then I have my chamois here. A lot of you have probably seen me use this. This is our chamois. You just get it wet with water and it cleans your stamps really, really good. And then I just keep it, store it in one of our clear empty cases. So um, there's that. So now we can put this on the inside of our card. So this goes here. I don't want to get that in the ink. <laughs> I'm glad you like this fold. Um, who said that? Pat? Yes, and the mat is getting carried over. Yay, because we need that. Okay, so this is on the inside. Hi, Alice. I just wrote your name out today um, on your package for, from the online class. So that will be coming to you soon. And all of you, if you participated in that, packages are ready to go. I'm just waiting for your free embellishment to come. So this is going to be the inside of our card. So I just wanted to give you, I'm sure a lot of you have designer series paper, scrapbook paper, whatever you want to call it. And probably more than we need, but they always come out with pretty, such pretty ones. So here's a fun way to use it up and to send to somebody and make them super happy. So now, see, I just created this belly band. So I just wrapped it around and it moves like this. So it's not attached to the card. And then I grabbed my petal pink ribbon. Hi, Kate. Um, and I'm going to wrap it around and tie a bow. I agree, Holly. You can never have enough paper. And, and the people that sew, like, they can never have enough fabric. It's just, it's just a rule. <laughs> it's just a rule. You just can't have too much. All right, I'm going to tie this bow. I love this ribbon, and this ribbon is carrying over, so that is awesome. But I will show you one that's not carrying over that's petal pink. So if you like it, I will show you it. It has the, um, where's my scissors? You will need to, um, oh, we're up to 70. Okay, we need to get to 100, and then I can give away a stamp set. All right? It's so exciting to me. I love giving gifts and giving things away. So this is the ribbon that is retiring that would also coordinate with this. It is the petal pink with the champagne edge. It's really, really pretty. And so this coordinates really beautiful with this paper as well. So this is retiring. If you love it, get it. All right, now we can do our little label here. So we're going to stamp our bird. So the bird. Um, if you're not a bird person, you could change this to some, something else. Um, just stamp the bird in the soft suede. And then we're going to stamp hello. I just picked a generic something generic today but look at all the sentiments in here if you can see the glare um we're the best of friends the world needs more of you your friendship means the world to me thanks for being you and thank you so it has some really great sentiments in here so I'm just going to clean this off really fast and then we're going to stamp our hello and I'm just stamping it directly on here and just like that so I have so many different projects and different things to show you tonight. Some are already done because this catalog is ending like so soon. And there's still so many great things that I want to show you and before they're gone. So I had to like squeeze a whole lot in tonight. So I have my light crumb cake marker and I'm just going to color in the bird just really subtle. You can go all fancy on the bird. Uh, I'm not. So I'm coloring him in. I will go in with a little bit of the dark crumb cake. Okay, I see 77. Um, make sure you comment too because that's how I pick the winner of the stamp set. As I go through the comments, I see how many we have and then I usually have my one of my children pick the number and then I go through and count down to that number. So... 
be sure to tell me where you're from or what you did today. Or if you like this stamp set, maybe you have it. Maybe you want it. All right, so here's my bird. I'm just going to color in a little bit down here so he's not floating away. I have the Dark Daffodil Delight to do his, his or her beak. Um, Linda says, I want to go create, but I can't tear myself away from this presentation. Linda, I believe I saw your name today too on something. All right, so now I have the dark crumb cake and I am just adding in some highlights. Hi, Allison. Hi, Tammy. The new catalog goes live on June 3rd and I'm so excited. That is a Wednesday. And so on June 3rd, I'm gonna be doing a catalog kickoff right here. And we're gonna be, I'm gonna be demonstrating some new products and I'll have a new host code and so, that will be on June 3rd, and that's when the catalog is live. So here is our bird colored in, and I um, used the Crumb Cakes and the Dark Daffodil Delight. I didn't use my color lifter, but you certainly can. Okay, now to assemble, finish assembling this card, we need, I use the Spring Punch. Okay, this is also carrying over. And I punched out two sprigs in vellum. I already did that just to give it a little something. So there's one. And here is the other. I'm also going to use some champagne rhinestones. We made it to 80. All right. So we're getting closer. And, um, okay. So to put this together, what I did, I need to close this before I, um, before I ruin something. So I'm gonna put a sprig up here and down here. So I just put a little bit of snail. And um, Michelle asks, how do you use a color lifter? I use the color lifter to do some highlights. Um, it lightens up the ink. And also if you ever make a mistake, it will um, remove it if you, I like to hold it Hold it in place for a little bit, not like smear it or it'll bleed all over. It moves the color around, so it's kind of cool. Um, so there's that. That's what it looks like. And then I'm going to take um, take those leaves. I want the other ones. <clears throat> so I'm going to take these, and I'm using the silver. And so I'm going to take the one with the three... And then the one with the one. Okay, we're at 86. We're getting so close to 100. If you're just hopping on, I have a stamp set you can pick. They're brand new. And so if we get to 100, somebody will get to win one of these. Okay, so then this is going to go. This is how I did it. So I'm going to put this on here. And it's going to stick to the belly band with my dimensionals. So how I did it is I'm... As I'm putting the dimensional down, can you see that? I'm um, anchoring the ribbon to the belly band. So then the belly band won't like shift all over either. So I'm gonna put four dimensionals on here. Okay, so, oh, I see your um, thumbs up and your hearts, how fun. So I'm taking these little backs off. So there, now it helps to anchor my ribbon and then my little label is going to go right on here like this. And then my little leaves, like I said, they're really easy to apply. You're just going to take your mini glue dots. I don't know if you can see the dot on there. And I'm going to stick a little dot on there. And then I'm going to lift this up. And I'm going to stick it down just like that. And then I'm going to take this one here and do the same thing. Oh, thank you, Sarah. And then this one is going to go right here like that. <clears throat> so there's our card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now to finish it off, those champagne rhinestones, grab your take your pick tool. This thing is so cool. It has like this putty at the end and you can just use it to um, lift your rhinestones off and you can just, like position them right where you want them. So we're going to put some there and we're going to sprinkle a few up here 
and we're gonna put one down there. So here is our card. So let me show you. So there's our finished card. And so this just, again, it slides right off. And then once you, here we go, once you slide it off, then this opens up like this. And then you can write your message in here. So um, just another way to use your designer series paper to make a card, a card with it. And adding this cardstock in the middle gives it um, some weight so it's not like super flimsy. Because we all know that this paper is a little bit flimsy, but this, uh, that stabilizes it. So there is card number one. Let me know what you think. All right. And again, if you want that paper, it's on sale for $8.05. And if you want the leaf trinkets that are normally $8, they're on sale for $3.20. And just remember that everything is while supplies last. So things are, are selling out and going fast. It seems like every time I show you something on here, it's like gone within the next day or so. So just keep that in mind. And then the stamp set we use, Free as a Bird, is not retiring. But if you want the bundle, the, um, I believe the bundle is retiring. So you can get it cheaper now. All right, the next card I have to show you. Hey, I love your hearts. Okay, the next card, um, actually there are several cards that I made with, um, it comes in a tin. So let me show you. It comes, I, I don't wanna like spoil the surprise, but it comes like this in this pretty little tin. And it kind of goes with that paper. It's called the Bird Ballad Tin. And inside, inside this tin, it's like actual metal. Okay, so inside you get these beautiful cards. They're laser cut and they're very vanilla. And you get, how many do you get? 12 of them with matching envelopes. And look at these envelopes. They have this really pretty scallop top. Okay. So, these, uh, this tin is normally $18, it's on sale for $14. And you get 12 cards and envelopes, and here's the number. And then I'm going to be using the stamp set called Hold On To Hope, which is retiring. Um, and this is the price, $21 in the set. So, these are so, so pretty. Let me show you some samples that I've made, and then we're going to make, we're going to make one too. So, that's for the one we're going to make. Here is one. It says, let me take it out of here. It says, Sending Well Wishes. I believe this set is from the Dandelion. And then this punch right here is retiring and the half inch circle punch. So make sure you get those. And the leaf punch already sold out. So this is, oh, we're at 87. We're almost, we're almost there, friends. Um, this is, I just put very vanilla backing. So there is one card and it is using two different punches that are retiring. I told you before, the half inch circle punch, if you don't have it, is a must have staple in your craft room and it's only $6. Um, so you need that for all your flower centers. All right, the other card I already made with this using the same stamp set is this one and it has mint macaron and then the just little die and then just a little not a ribbon there. So just really simple but elegant cards. This one is using the bird, if I can show you, right here. Um, and this one has petal pink and then that little bird we just used and it has a little banner um, with some circles. And then I made this one and then we're gonna make one. So you can see how pretty these cards are. This one, I forgot the name of the stamp set, but it is very pretty. And this one is carrying over. And you see it has, a, I added a little bit of lace and some pearls. So anyway, this is, um, we're gonna make a card. We're actually gonna make this card right here. It's just really soft and I love the stamp set uh, that we're using. Although I have no idea, here it is. 
So this is a stamp set that's retiring. It's called Hold On To Hope, and this does have some dies that coordinate as well. Um, I love this uh, Bible verse, um, Isaiah 46.4, and so um, I'm going to show you how you can stamp the cross in a lighter color and then stamp the words right over it. It's so, so beautiful. So you have your little card base here from your kit. We're at 89, and then I have... Um, the soft sea foam and so I cut this down just like uh, it's pretty much five and a half by four and a quarter is that right five and a half by four and a quarter um, and then I just cut like an eighth of an inch off on two sides to make it just a hair shorter so that it will fit in here. Now, how do you attach it? That's a great question. You can use, you can do several different things. You can use your liquid glue. If you love your liquid glue, go ahead and just be very careful and apply like a thin line around the outside and stick it down. Um, you all know that that's not my favorite. So on your take your pick tool, it has two ends. So do you see this little spatula end? And then this little poker end. Don't stab yourself with this. But what you do is you can like lock that in. And then you can take this and you can, um, what I did is I kind of curled the little mini glue dot over. And I am sticking it down right here. And then I'm going to do the other one on this other side. And then there's going to be some dimensionals on the center. So that's going to help anchor the middle as well. So I'm just putting a mini glue dot on all four corners and then um, we are going, so there's that. I know you probably can't tell but I promise they're there. And then I'm going to take our soft sea foam, again pick whatever color you like, and I'm going to attach this down right here. And again it's just a eighth of an inch on two sides so it layers right perfect. So there you have it. There is our soft green background. Again, use whatever you want. Um, next I have a oval in very vanilla and we're going to do a little bit of stamping. I already went ahead with our small bloom punch and picked out um, or punched out one of those already. So we have soft seafoam ink and soft suede. Wow, soft seafoam and soft suede. So this is a very soft card. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take the cross and the verse here. So let me grab those. So I just got to stick this on my block, and I'm going to do the green first. Hi, Sally. Hi, Davida. Hi, Jenny. If I missed you, I will go back and reply to your comments. I'm just, I inked this up in soft sea foam, and now I'm going to stick this on. I'm using my stitch shape dies. So just like that stitched shapes and then I have that Bible verse right here the verse and we're going to stick it on I just got ink all over me because I touched it I'm gonna close this and we have soft suede so we're going to ink that up and we're going to stamp this directly over the cross and I'm not rocking it, I'm just holding it for a second. Because if you rock it, that's when you can get the lines and like, like not a good stamp or impression. So here is our oval right now. And now we're going to attach this to the center of our card. Now the ink, I found that the green ink, that seafoam ink, does dry a little bit lighter as it dries. It looks a little bit darker right now. So I'm going to take three of these dimensionals and put this on. I'm not sure we're going to get to 100 tonight. We keep um, hanging out at about 80. That's okay, but if we get to 100, I do have a stamp set to give away. 
So here is that. And you could leave your card just like this. You could add a little bit of ribbon behind it. I'm gonna take this little flower here and I'm going to stick a dimensional on. I don't even know where my original one is. Oh, here it is. I was like, I made one. I kind of usually look at it to go by. I'm gonna put the flower up here and then I have these really pretty gold glitter enamel dots. And these are carrying over, but they're I wanted to use them because they're really pretty. And I'm gonna put the biggest one in the center of the flower. And then I'm gonna take this tool and I'm going to add a few of these to the card too, just to give it a little sparkle. And there's no rhyme or reason. I'm literally just putting them down. So we're gonna put three down here because they say add numbers. And then since I have one up here, I'm gonna add another one up to the top. And there we have it. That is it. So simple. And it has a little bit of sparkle. And this is just a very, very elegant card. And again, you could, so here's this one. So you could um, you use um, any stamps, any colors, and totally change the look of these. And here's two going this way. So there are those cards. So let me know if you like those or what you think of them. They're really easy to do. And again, the tin, you get the tin with the cool envelopes. They look like this, coordinating envelopes in this cool metal tin. And it's on sale right now. It's on the retiring list for $14.40 and you get 12 cards and envelopes. 12 cards um, and the tin. So it's normally 18. And then the stamp set is Hold On To Hope and it's 21. And this is retiring too. And if you're a die person, check out the dies that go with this also that are retiring. Okay, the next thing I have to show you is some Magnolia Lane stuff. So who here likes the magnolia? Um, Cause that's what we have up next. All right. Let me, oh, I gotta clean off my stamp real quick because I am, and if you're just hopping on, you can always watch the replay to see the beginning, how we made the first or second card. And the video always gets posted on my YouTube channel, which is just Owl Star Stampers. So you can head over there and catch any of the videos. Uh, I'm just putting, I'm actually putting my stamps away. I can't say I always do that. <laughs> Not right away anyway. All right. So there's that. Okay. So this next set of cards is a set of cards that I wanted to do for a class. Like I was saying. And... I just found a stamp. I need to put it away. And the rhinestones were always on back order. Those sh these champagne rhinestones. So I didn't end up getting to offer this class. So I thought I would show you, and we would make uh, we would make a card together. And yeah, I'll show you what I had in mind. So it's using the this, which is. I totally lost, here it is. It is the um, Magnolia Lane Memories and More Large Cards and Envelopes. So they're $12.50 and you get 20 cards and they come, they come like this and they're like a craft and I will tell you, they're not very sturdy, but that's okay because you can use the cards and um, layer them to make them sturdier. And then these are the envelopes. They have like this silver, um, silver thing but then they come with liners so these are your liners for your envelopes and they just go down in there like that so let's put one of these in so you're just gonna add I uh, just add a little bit of glue and then you open your envelope and you are just going to sorry I'm not in view I'm trying to do this without it sticking tuck it in just like this and then seal it like this. So that is your envelope. How pretty is that? And then when you fold it, you have a really pretty um, envelope. So it comes with the liners and the envelopes and the cards, 12 of them. 
um, on, for $12.50. And then the Memories of Market I'm going to be using is $11. So these are both retiring. So that's why I'm showing you them. And then I'm going to show you these cards that I made up. And then we're going to do one. So the the this thing comes like this. This is the $11 kit. And it has all these cards. And so some of them have words and some don't. You can scrapbook with these. I like to use them to make really quick cards. And I just did a tropical class with this. So um, a lot of you took it. Well, over 40 of you took it. So this is the same type of thing, but with the magnolia. And so you get all these four by three cards. And then you get some stickers and their sentiments on here. So you don't even have to do any stamping. And then they throw in these beautiful vellum sheets. And then you have your four by six cards. And they're all, I believe, double-sided. So this is a card pack, the Memories and More card pack for 11. And then let me show you some of the cards I made. Um, I started doing this as a class. So here is one, and I use two different ribbons. One is that petal pink you saw me use at the beginning. And then it says, together is the best place to be. So I just stuck that down. This is one of the stickers that's popped up, and I added some of those champagne rhinestones. Then here is another card. It says, you are my everything and more. And then can you tell, this is a sticker, and then some rhinestones, and then some linen thread right there. And then we have um, this card. And so what I did with this one is this is a four by six and I, I actually cut, I don't know if you can see, I carefully cut it out and then I wrapped uh, this linen thread around and then I popped it up on uh, dimensionals. So it's a little hard to tell and then there's a sticker there and this one says hooray for today. And then we have this one that says celebrate. And then this one says thank you. And again, the little stickers, a lot of times I like to pop them up on dimensionals. And so I just use, um, I plan to use the linen thread, th this ribbon, and the rhinestones with it as well. But we're going to make a card with this set because this is an awesome set. It's so beautiful. And if you don't have the 12 by 12 paper, um, that's really pretty too. So I grabbed um, this vellum and then this card. And this is just a piece of cardstock that is petal pink and it's four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And so we're just going to layer this on here like this. And these are great because they're just, this is so not even. Um, it is so simple. So you don't have to be like an expert card maker to, um, to do this. So then this is going to layer on here. And I believe I want dimensionals. So let me grab some. I'm going to put a couple on. Yeah, if it's echoing, it could just be on your end or your, your provider. So, yeah, or you could add ribbon if you wanted. The internet can be a crazy thing sometimes. So I'm putting these on, I'm putting this on first. So I know where I want, I can't see it. So I know where to glue it down to the front. So I just want to like center it kind of like this. Okay. So then I'm going to grab my words here that says, um, what is the one I wanted? To, to the happy couple. So this is the um, sentiment I want. And I'm going to pop that up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sheet of dimensionals that has the edge. And I'm going to um, cut it because I want to use the edge to stick that down. So I'm just going to peel this edge off and I'm going to stick it down with this. So this could be for an anniversary or a wedding. And I'm going to put that right here. Now I can flip this over 
and see um, where to glue it. Because with vellum, if I were to take this and just run my glue, it's going to show, it's not going to be as noticeable because this is a print, but it will definitely show through. So the reason why I put the pink on is so I can see where I can add my glue and it's not going to show through. So, hi, uh, I'm glad you like these, Deb. So then this is just going to go on here. All right, so here is our card. And then I want to add, I'm not done, so I want to add one of these um, flowers. So I'm going to take um, this and see it has like these really pretty leaves. So I'm going to take one of the leaves and they're like a laser cut. So I'm going to put one leaf over there. I'm going to take another one. And then I'm going to put another one over here. So like that. That's just the stickers are, well, they're stuck to my finger right now. So I'm going to do this. All right, then I'm going to grab a dimensional or two. I'm going to put the dimensional right where those stickers are, just like that, where they're like meeting. And then I'm going to stick this right over there like that. Okay, and now to finish it off, we have to have some rhinestones. You can tell I like these rhinestones just a little bit. There's like three sheets right there, you know, just to to show you. And let me grab my little tool thing and we'll add a few rhinestones. So we're going to add one here, here, and down there. And there is our card. Like so simple. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you um, how you can take this Memories of More kit and pair it up with the, the envelopes, the little card bases, and you can make some really simple but pretty cards. And then you can throw in your favorite ribbons and embellishments and make a whole make a whole bunch of cards. So there, there's those. And this one I was gonna make a card too because this would be so simple to um, layer with like a early espresso and um, you could tie some of that burlap, this burlap ribbon around, and that would be like a really great masculine card. So there's that. So let me know what you think of that card. So we have, if you're interested in the Memories and More stuff, there it is. And here is the host code real quick. So we unfortunately didn't get to 100 tonight. I saw like 80, we're at 84 right now. So um, maybe next week we can do it. Um, it's all right. So there's those. And then we did the this card right here with the fun little belly band that slides off. And then you're using your designer series paper and that's on the inside. And then our other cards are with the tin, the bird ballad tin. So... Um, those were our cards tonight. So let me know what you think. I'm trying to switch my view. I had so much fun. Whew, I kind of shifted as I was stamping. Stamping with you tonight. Um, I hope you were inspired by these projects and that you can go and craft and create. And so that's always super fun. And I will be back next week. Um, for uh, another Facebook Live on Wednesday. I know several of you are signed up for bingo. So we have bingo next week. Um, I'll be getting out my card club. So there's a lot of stuff I have going on here. And then on June 3rd, we'll be kicking off the new catalog. So um, that will be super fun. So again, if you need any of the products, go to use the host code below. And thank you again for joining me tonight, and I will see you next time. Have a great night, everyone. Bye.